Hello, welcome back to StoryTube Academy. In this video, we'll be explaining how to set up your William blog. First, just a quick reminder, your William blog is hosted by StoryTube. Eventually, it will look like this. So here, for example, we have your categories, your own logo, your own colors, but also you have your own URL already on your own site. But as you can see, it currently looks pretty empty. So let's just get started. To do so, just navigate to your channel page. And then once you're on the channel page, go ahead and choose your William blog. When you are here, you'll be able to adapt your design and tailor it. So let's start with something simple like your logo. So the logo will appear in the top left corner. So I'll just go ahead and upload one. So here I have an image of my company, Content Marketing Inc. But make sure your logo is big enough so it can render properly on all of the devices. So now let's go ahead and choose the primary color of your buttons. Let's go for blue and then click on save. Um, okay, great. Then let's go to settings. So your display name when you will be publishing, you will see the name of your William blog up here. If you want to, you can go ahead and hide your Story Chief logo here. Um, and then you can also hide your social share buttons on the Story Detail page here. And you can choose whether or not you want to include dates next to the articles when you publish them. Then we also have categories here. So you can exclude some categories or exclude some stories from the overview page of your articles. Um, and then I can edit my website page so people can link it. So I'm going to go ahead and put my website in here. So storychief.io and then I'm going to add my email address here. Okay, great. And all of the Facebook pages, LinkedIn, Instagram and so on. Next, we have custom links. These are just fixed links, which you can see on the explore more here. For example, I have a content strategy checklist here. So I want to include that here as well. So let's go ahead and put that in here. Okay, great. And let's put a content marketing checklist in as the title. And here you can put some links which are important to you or to your brand. Next, footer links. So to be legally up to date, which is especially important in Europe, you can put your privacy policy documents here or your security policy terms of service in here as well. So let's go ahead and click on save. And then let's navigate to my blog here. And you can already see some results. So I can already see my logo here, my link here, to my website up here and now it's time to upload my banner so you can upload a hero image with a call to action button or a few or you can just make sure the article appears on the top it's completely up to you so it's pretty clear and simple next let's go to the call of actions here then you can upload some banners so this is a hero banner on top which you can upload you can put some overlay text in here you can create a button that can, for example, lead you back to your main website or whatever you want. Then we also have some call of action buttons here, which are very useful. So I'm going to upload an image. So it's like a banner that they have here. So let's go ahead and choose one here. We'll go ahead and select this one. Open. Okay. So this banner will appear next to your articles where people are navigating through the overview page of your blog and it's clickable. So this means that when people click on it, they will be brought to whatever URL you add here. So let's add a URL. And then you have your story banner. So what is a story banner? So when people are already reading your article, they could land on it via Google, for example, and they will be able to see this call of action here while they are reading the, your article. So let's go ahead and add a URL there as well. It can be the same or different or whatever you prefer. So let's go ahead and save that here at the bottom and click on save and voila. And then we have top navigation button. So for example, you want to have a call of action saying sign up now. So let's go ahead and put that in here and then add a URL to make a registration. So let's put that in here too. And then after we finish that, we click on save here. What you can also do is add a subscribe button on top. So for example, this one here or this one to appear automatically. So this is an integration with MailChimp. So if you're using MailChimp, you can create a form there and it will give you a URL like this here. And then you just need to put it in here. 
And then if you click here, it will give you the instructions on how to set it up, but also be aware that we have the help articles on each feature of StoryChief. If you want to access our help center, go to the question mark at the bottom right corner of your workspace here, and then just click on help center. I'm going ahead and going to click on save here. Now, okay, if I look at the blog, let's just go ahead and click on view blog. This is already what it looks like. However, as you can see, we are still missing the categories here and obviously the actual content. So let's add that. So first we need to go to our custom domain here at the top so that I can add my own desired subdomain here. Also, you can click on how to set it up and it will bring you to our help article with instructions on how to do so. For example, we will have to find a CM record and then wait for the changes. Be aware this can take some time. Although if you are experiencing any technical issues or this is too technical for you, please feel free to reach out to our help chat and we can help you. So that's our custom domain part. Next, we have SEO and analytics. So you can put in here your meta images, for example, your meta descriptions and the meta title of your blog. In addition, you can have the indexing. As you can see right now, it's not indexed. However, once you have the accounts ready with StoryChief, you can go ahead and upgrade to make sure your blog is being indexed in search engines. If you also want to track your analytics, just put in the analytics, your account number, your tag manager ID to tailor things. You can even tailor CSS and colors and more with Google Tag Manager and also Google Search Console. It's very self-explanatory here. In addition, we also have the integrations here with various things such as Convertful or with Discuss. If people want to have people leaving out comments on your articles through Discuss, you just need to put in a short name here. 